Hey y'all, hey, it's Trey Monet, back to y'all with another video. Today's video is going to be a vlog. A lot of you guys have been requesting me to do vlogs and different things like that, of like my everyday behind the scenes life as an entrepreneur. So right now I am headed to do something super exciting. I am headed to look at some office spaces um, right down the street from my house, y'all, because if you watch my Wind Down Wednesday the other day, I kind of talked about how uh, I do not have enough space in my apartment to house my business wanted wardrobe so if you have been keeping up with me I do have a boutique by the name of wanted wardrobe I am in the process of rebranding my boutique and I am looking to get it started back up very very soon so I need some office space y'all there is no way that I am going to be living on top of boxes I just don't want to um, so I am looking for some office spaces, um, something affordable, something small. I don't need a ton of space. Um, I really just need enough space to shoot content and enough space to house, package, and ship the inventory. And that's pretty much it. So I'm looking for something anywhere between maybe 1,000 to maybe 1,500 square feet, if that really, um, to kind of just go ahead and see. I think the space that I'm headed to right now um is 1140 so 1140 square feet which is perfect um for me to kind of go ahead and have enough space to get everything back up and running so i am super excited to meet with um the i think i'm meeting either with the landlord or the broker one or the other um he sent me some information earlier this week about the space so i am excited to see it i'll show you guys what the space looks like when i get there um but yeah so i'm just going to go through look at that i have a couple more spaces that i want to go ahead and call and set up tours for as well but right now i'm pretty sure that i'm not going to be signing anything soon probably within maybe the next month or two maybe i just really want to get my feet wet as far as pricing to see like how much does, does an office space usually cost how much does it run according to you know my city my location you know does it depend on you know where i am located um, so a lot of you guys know I'm in Tampa, um, but I am looking right now more so in the, what is this, like East Tampa, West Tampa, not West Tampa, I think this is like what, East Tampa um, area to kind of see what I can find out here um, to make sure that this will be like a good fit for me and for my business. This location is right next to the post office too, so I am really, really excited about that because when it comes to like, you know, lugging um, your packages and stuff to the post office, that's a whole headache within itself. So if I can be right next door to the post office, which this location is, that would be perfect. Like I said, it's like five minutes or so, less than that away from my house. Like I literally was just leaving my house when I started this video. Um, and now I am here, I think. He gave me the location of which building it was. But yeah, we're here, post office is right next to it. So this is literally perfect. It isn't kind of like a business center, so it wouldn't actually be like a retail location. Um, but I can make it into a re retail location if I wanted to, which also gives me the best of both worlds too. If I wanted to make it into like an actual storefront, which I have no intentions of doing right now at all. <laughs> so I am here, you guys. I am excited to see, you know, what everything looks like. There's a bunch of different businesses in this plaza. There's like massage places, there's like attorney's offices. What else is over here? Um, Looks like doctor's offices, different things like that. But I'm about to park and figure out where I'm going and we are gonna get it on and cracking from there. So I'm excited and I'll show you guys when I get inside. just left from looking at the office and i really do like it but there's like a couple different things that i don't like about this space so one is that it's not a open floor plan and i would really really much rather a open floor plan than to have so many offices in one office and they're closed off so initially i was thinking okay if it is going to be like a closed off office 
um, then maybe I can rent out the different rooms to, you know, other entrepreneurs and different things like that. But I'm also kind of thinking, eh, I'm not sure if I really want to do that. But basically, it's like one office building with four different offices located in that same office. So I will only be able to use maybe one or two rooms to house inventory and different things like that. Actually, that might not be a bad idea because I can use two rooms to house inventory or I can use one room to house inventory, one room for shooting content, one room for my office, and then one room for um, shooting inventory, housing inventory, packaging and shipping. Hmm, that might not be a bad idea. Hmm. Now I'm kind of thinking, okay, maybe that's not a bad idea because initially while I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, these office spaces that like they're so tight in. And then I love the fact that as soon as you walk in, you kind of have that retail space feel. So if I wanted to do like a showroom and have a couple of different items on display for, or like a, um, you know, register for people who are doing like pickup. Hmm. I love the fact it has a break room and has a restroom too in the back. If I wanted to get like a fridge or anything like that too. I'm debating another another turn off to it that location too is the fact that it is a three year lease like I don't even know what I'm doing and I don't even know where I'm going to be in life in the next year. Hopefully it's not in Florida. Hopefully I'm, you know, venture off into, you know, other states traveling the world, different things like that. So that was a really big turn off. The rent was not that bad, in my opinion, wasn't that bad. It's a really good location um, for where it's at. Like I said earlier, right next to the post office, directly next to it. Um, so, and that's the same post office I use for my PO box too. So um, really, really convenient. But that three-year lease, mm -mm. If, I, if it wasn't a three-year lease, I would probably go with that location now that I'm thinking about it. Cause I could have a whole entire room dedicated for content, a whole entire room for my office, a whole room for packing, shipping, and then a whole room for just housing inventory alone. And then that whole front room could be like showroom area, back room, break room, restroom, literally would be perfect. But when I was talking to him, I was like, so do you guys do any like shorter term leases or anything like that? He was saying um, that they don't and they usually do, but the space that I looked at, the two spaces that they had available um, are newly renovated. So if it's, you have a newly renovated space, Y'all already know them Them people, property managers, landlords, brokers, they greedy with their money because they just put in so much money and to get those spaces renovated and all that good stuff. And it looked new. It looked really, really good too. Hopefully y'all can still see me. I'm like behind the sun. But um, I just looked at that space. I have a couple other spaces that I'm gonna look at later on this week. I was gonna go tour somewhere today. But y'all, it's, it's I live in Florida. It's hot. And... I'm in no rush either to like look at spaces or get a space, but I just want to make sure that financially, like I'm putting money, um, you know, aside for it and all of that good stuff too. But I really like the fact that of that, you know, four office room type of feel vibe now that I think about it. So I might be considering doing that. I mean, I can still have that same vibe and feel with the open floor plan as well. Um, but it would be dope to have it in like different rooms um as well there too but i will bring you guys along my next journey of finding an office space um until next time i'll see you guys in the next one